Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. This is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. Um, we've had a lot of fun here the last couple weeks. We had a live chat on last Sunday. I hope you can join us again because I'd like to do this again this coming Sunday at 3 o'clock. One of our UK viewers mentioned that it was a bit late to do it at 4 o'clock Eastern for them. So I'm going to bump it back an hour so that those UK people can join us at a better time for them. It's still uh, accessible for the people on the West Coast and trying to include as many people as possible. Anyway, we had a blast. I hope you can join us this time. Um, today I'm going to go over a pattern review. Uh, Love Notions is re-releasing the Rhapsody top and actually now a dress version today. I'm wearing one and um, you'll, I think you'll find it a lovely pattern and we'll go over that in just a bit. At the end of this video I'm going to share some viewer makes with you as well. Alright, so um, as usual I'm going to go through um, the pattern and I have some categories that I kind of talk about with each pattern and trying to be consistent in all my pattern reviews and so first I give you all the details then I talk about wearability of the pattern how wearable is it um, you know is it like adaptable to your everyday life that kind of thing um, ease of the construction of the pattern what uh, level sewer do you need to be to make this um, and then I talk about the sizing how inclusive it is and that's a biggie, I think, really important. And then the, the uh, fabric choices and whether the materials are readily available and how easy are they to work with, yada, yada. Okay, so I'm going to start with the details. All right, so the Rhapsody was re-released today from Love Notions. It's been a favorite pattern of mine even before um, she decided to re-release it. Um, but it is a great pattern to wear and, and also a quick make. Um, the details of this pattern um, is that it is available now from extra small to 5X. It now comes with two options as far as a blouse and also now a dress version which it didn't used to have which is very exciting and then it also comes in eight different sleeves sleeveless cap short flutter sleeve there's a three-quarter with a flounce and um, also a bishop sleeve and a bell sleeve so there's lots of options no matter what kind of sleeve you like on your peasant type blouses that's exactly what this is I think of it as my uh, the kind of blouses I used to love wearing in the 70s the the uh, sort of peasant blouse very boho very in style right now um, as far as wearability goes um, this is a very wearable pattern you can throw it on with jeans and um, be very comfortable um, I have it on right now with a pair of jeans and um, it is just a great top to throw over uh, your uh, blue jeans or you can dress it up and actually wear it um, to the office or anywhere that you might need to be like dressy casual um, you could even put a nice skirt on with it and dress it up to you know an event like a wedding or something one of the best features of this pattern is that it can be dressed way up or way down and it's just up to you how you want to wear it um, as far as the ease of construction um, i would rate this a confident beginner um, the tricky bits being um, the uh, binding on the neckline i found this a lot easier using wonder tape to go ahead and um, make a nice crisp um, fold on your um, binding. So basically I just used it on the neckline part. Um, I used the uh, Wonder Tape and then I also used steam -a seam for the hems and the sleeve and the bottom because they're very narrow hems to make it um, because it's a curve on the bottom. Um, all I did was serge the edge and use steam -a seam to um, create my curve and then I top stitched it. So very very simple. Um, to construct um, if you're a confident beginner you should be fine as far as sizing goes here's this this is exciting it goes from extra small to 5x so very inclusive all body types should be able to wear this which is I just I love that a lot of not just love notions but I've seen this with several different companies right now that they're actually going back and 
being more inclusive with their sizing. So that is wonderful. Um, so very, very inclusive. It also has a full bust option, which actually I did do this time. Um, I think I told you guys I was originally testing this for Tammy um, for Love Notions. Then when I got sick, I kind of had to drop out of the testing. But she had assigned me the size large with the full bust. Now initially I thought, eh, it's not gonna fit me in the hips, but actually it fits very well. So, um, and I'll put some pictures up here a little closer of the details and things. Um, but I think it's, you know, it fit very well. And um, something that I didn't think would work, but it did. She obviously knew the pattern better than me. And um, she assigned me that as a size to make and it worked out really, really well. I didn't make any adjustments to the large with a full bust. Now fabric choices for this, um, I think uh, what I have is like a chiffon. And it's definitely sheer. So I, I have a Luna Cami on underneath it. So this is another Love Notions pattern that you can make a Luna Cami to go underneath your Rhapsody if it's a sheer fabric. Um, I love the look of a sheer blouse over a cami, always have, so that is a um, very feminine um, silhouette to wear. So um, also you can try the Luna cami with this. But basically you should just use any drapey, lightweight uh, woven fabric. So um, now the old version, and I'll put a picture up here, I made with a poplin from Minerva, and it's a wonderful fabric, but I don't know if it was the right choice because it just didn't drape as much as this does or a rayon chalet or um, something of that nature that would really drape really well. Uh, another fabric that would be really nice is a Georgette. Um, some of the silkier fabrics would look really nice. Um, and I think that your really lightweight drapey wovens are probably the best bet with this pattern. A um, Batiste would be nice, and then you'd really have the classic um, peasant blouse, like the ivory-colored Batiste that is the classic um, 70s peasant blouse. Um, that would work really well with this as well. Basically, I would just make sure that your fabric is drapey so that all these details can just um, flow and sit nice. I chose the cap sleeve version just because we're headed into warmer weather right now. So um, I wanted to be able to wear it this summer. Um, this is perfect for throwing on over this cami that I made to go with it and um, a pair of black pants for church or a black skirt. Um, I actually have enough of this fabric left that I thought about making a layered skirt with the, um, the uh, this print over top. I may do that. Um, so anyway, um, I don't really have any negatives about this pattern. I guess my only suggestion is to take this part really slow um, and um, use the supportive materials, the Wonder Tape and the seam a seam um, You could even use a little bit of iron-on interfacing cut in a really small strip. Anything to give this a little body around the neck. Because you're using such lightweight, drapey, woven fabrics that fray, you need to just pay extra attention to this part right here. I even have some aglets, which I ordered from Amazon. And those are called aglets, in case you don't know. And um, they were super cheap. I have like a bag of 100 of them now. <laughs> so you'll see these again, I'm sure. I'll put a link to the aglets as well down there because I, I do think it's a nice finish to a blouse like this. It kind of kicks it up a notch. And um, basically though, it's a wonderful pattern. And I look forward to making many more of these. It's a great wardrobe staple and you can make it look so different depending on uh, whether you make it sleeveless or uh, which sleeve choice you uh, choose, what fabrics you choose. Um, it can have a lot of versatility in your wardrobe. So um, I love patterns that have lots of options and are very versatile. So. Um, those are the ones that end up being the tried and true. This one was already a tried and true for me, but especially since they've updated it, um, I do find the, the full bust option to be 
um, less uh, balloony on me. I guess that's the only way I can put it. I think that if you make a top with this style too big, um, it can really take away from any curves that you do have. So make sure you don't size up too much or it'll kind of look like a tent. And um, yeah, I was very happy with this sizing. All right, so this is the Rhapsody on sale today for $5. And um, go grab it while it's on sale. And it's a wonderful re-release from Love Notions. And I'll put my affiliate link down below so you can click on that. You certainly don't have to use my affiliate link, but anytime that you do click on an affiliate link, it does help to grow this channel and help me to have the equipment that I need to continue to do this. So much appreciated when you do. So next, let me get on to our viewer makes. First up, we have Leveda. Leveda is a, a wonderful lady who comments almost every video and has um, also kind of connected with me on Instagram. Uh, great, just a great lady. And so she made the Peppermint Runway Harvest Top and um, also the uh, Gasparine Miss Calypso Top. I love these tops. Um, I love that back detail, actually on both of them, but that Miss Calypso pattern with the little kind of bow um, in the back, I love that detail. Um, wonderful patterns, wonderful work. Leveda, thank you so much for sharing. Next up, I have Diane, who sewed a Vivace Dolman, which is another uh, Love Notions pattern. Um, I did do a video on that pattern when it released a few weeks ago, a month ago, something like that. Um, so you can check that out, uh, but I love your version, Diane. Wonderful. And also Samantha Chandler sent us um, her scrubs that she's making. And a lot of people are making scrubs right now, so I thought this was a great thing to share. And the cutest ever Easter Bunny in scrubs. Oh my goodness, so adorable. I wish I'd thought of that for Easter. What a great way to remind people to stay home and stay safe. So thank you so much, ladies, for sharing. Um, and if you would like to share your viewer makes for us to show online, just go ahead and email the address down in the description, and I'll share them on an upcoming video. So I'll have a live chat for you this Sunday again at 3 p.m. Eastern, and um, hopefully you guys can come on into the chat and we can uh, talk about whatever you'd like. If you have any questions, or if you'd just like to share a technique or talk about patterns, talk about fabrics, whatever it is. Um, I just love chit-chatting. The time went by so fast last week. I mean, it was just like I couldn't believe we'd been on an hour already when we were, and it was wonderful. So um, we had about 84 people all together join us. Not everybody uh, you know, entered into the conversation. Certainly you can just watch if you'd like to, uh, but we'd love to, um, we'd all love to, Collectively, we'd all love to have uh, you join us. So um, 3 o'clock on this channel on Sunday. And bring your questions and bring your excitement. And um, let's sew together. Um, what, what's on your cutting table this weekend? Uh, you can share that. Um, next up, I'm going to make, today, I'm going to make a Laundry Day Tea bathing suit cover-up for my sister-in-law. This was supposed to be a little gift that I was going to give her when we went to Mexico. And then our Mexico trip got derailed and it was gonna be one of the last things I did before I left. So I didn't get it done. Um, but today I'm going to make it for her and we're actually going to see them tonight. Um, they've been isolated, we've been isolated. So we decided that it would be okay if we got together. So we're gonna go and play some cards tonight and feel normal a little bit getting out of the house. And I'm gonna take that to her. Um, and also my next up after that, I'm gonna to try to do the um, dogwood apron. Um, it's Helen's closet. It's like a work apron. It's real versatile. Um, I'm gonna make myself one for here in the sewing room because I'm constantly leaving my scissors over on that table, um, marking pens over here. And it would just kind of like be nice to have everything in my apron all at once. So um, that's, a uh, also on my idea list at this point. So another idea I'm tossing around right now is that Transformer jacket from Ellie and Mac. Looks wonderful. They just released an adult size. 
Um, it's going to be coming up in a pattern review as soon as I make one. Um, I really like it. I thought of the way that I would use it. Um, and one of the ways would be like traveling when you're traveling from Ohio to a uh, more warm climate. Um, it's nice to have a jacket, but you really don't want to carry a jacket when you end up when you're ending in the tropics. So it could start off the day wearing the jacket and then leave the plane with it as a backpack and um, it makes carrying a jacket easier on top of everything else. So um, that's just one uh, way to use that. So uh, I think it's great for your kids to be able to carry their own jackets. That's another way. And it comes in kids and adults and I will be doing a video on that. Um, but first I need to make one and um, I'm excited to make one of those. Um, I may, I'm probably gonna make it for one of the grandkids first and then make one for myself. So have a wonderful Friday. I hope that you um, have a wonderful weekend of sewing ahead of you. Don't forget to grab your Rhapsody pattern um, from Love Notions. It's $5 today. And I believe if you already had purchased the old Rhapsody pattern, you can just go and download the new um, at the same link. So um, I don't believe you have to pay for it again. So that's the way that most of their patterns have worked. So. All right, have a wonderful afternoon. I will see you soon. Happy Friday.